What's going on guys? It's Christian, the investor's agent, and I welcome you to my first episode on the buy and hold talk with me, Christian. And I want to talk to you and, oh my God, I'm so excited because I've been doing videos back and forth and I've been doing it randomly, right? At, uh, you know, I've done it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. What's going on, Christian? So I've been doing them very sporadically, but now I want to put this into action. I want to do this every Friday at 6 p.m. I want to make sure that I'm bringing you as much value, whether you're a beginner, okay, somebody seasoned that wants to get excited and motivated and get, you know, <clears throat> start building your empire. The whole focus of this show that I'm trying to create and push forward is to really, you know, teach people how to get started into, into creating their empire. And that's what it is. It's okay. You want to create a real estate empire, whether it be meaning, you know, buying dozens of single family homes, buying multiple apartment buildings, um, buying commercial property, you know, whatever you want to build, you want to build a portfolio to create a generational wealth. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about how to buy right. Okay. Specifically how to buy right. But I'm very excited because I've been meaning to create something like this, something consistent. Okay. So, so in that way, I'm accountable to you guys. So I can put in and create content, do the research and kind of, uh, articulate all the uh, material with well, the theory, but also the practical aspect of real estate investing, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly, right? So I want to share everything I know, the little I know, so you guys can start building your real estate portfolio. That is the main goal of this show. I want to make sure that you guys understand, okay, what you're doing when you're investing, specifically buying and holding, because that's exactly what this show is about, buying and holding real estate income producing properties, okay? So we're gonna wait for a couple minutes because I want I want some people, at least three to five people to show up. What's going on, Kenny? I want five people. That's what I want, I want five. <laughs> I'm excited, man, because I've, I've always been trying to do this show, something consistent. And today we're gonna be talking about how to buy right, okay? Because all these TV shows are gonna focus on how to buy right, how to hold right, and how to sell right. Okay, so when we're dealing with how to buy right, we got to deal about, uh, you know, what markets are we going to go in? I mean, you know, if you're a beginner, okay, if you're a beginner, which market should I go into? Should I, should I go into Hagerstown? Should I go into Frederick? Should I go into Baltimore City, right? You have to know the marketplace. So we're going to be talking about that in this episode. Which market, okay? How do I know where I'm going to be successful at? That's what we're gonna be talking about today. And then later down the road, I'm gonna do more videos and more videos on how to make you successful. But the topic of today's show is gonna be which market to invest, okay? Because you're, if you're a beginner or a seasoned investor, if you go to another state or another part of the country, you gotta figure out where is the market where I'm gonna be successful? Where is the demand, right? And which sub-market and which neighborhood should I look into? So that's the focus of today's talk. Um, thank you, thank you, Carlos. Thanks for showing up, Nathan. Thank you, Kenny, Christian. Thanks, man. Hey, if you have any questions, please uh, comment below. Uh, I'll, you know, if you if you like this video, like it, share it, talk to people about it. I really want to create a group of like-minded individuals. You know, if you're watching this, you want to build your, uh, uh, your your net worth, right? That's what you're doing. This you got to buy and hold these properties. Doesn't matter where you are. You got to know where in the world can I invest and start buying income producing real estate. And you have to know which market you invest because if you invest in the wrong market, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna get burned, you're gonna lose your money. You know, you have to do it in a way, in a fashion where you have a strategy, you know what you're doing. And that's what this show is about. I wanna give you some tips some tricks, some things that you can apply so you can find that marketplace where you're gonna be successful. Okay, we got three people. I'm okay with three people. I'm okay with three people. So let's just get it started, okay? All right, so when we're dealing with marketplaces, right? When you're buying and holding real estate, there, there's a couple things you gotta remember. Okay, number one, I, you have to invest in a marketplace where there's a demand, you know, there's a demand for rentals, okay? There is a demand for rentals, okay? You, you are providing, you're buying these rentals to supply the marketplace with rentals, but there must be that need, right? So one way you can, actually find out which marketplace around me has those opportunities, well, one thing you can do is you can do your own due diligence, which I highly suggest. 
One thing you can do, and I always tell everybody, you can go on Craigslist, think, um, reverse engineer a little bit, right? So think as a tenant, okay? Think as a tenant. Let's say you are a tenant, okay? If I'm a tenant, I'm gonna go on websites like hotpads.com, realtor.com, zillow.com, apartments.com, right? I'm gonna go to those websites and I'm gonna be looking at different apartments, one that match my needs. It could be a one bedroom, a one bathroom. It could be a two bedroom, one bathroom. It could be a three bedroom, one bathroom. It all depends, right, on who am I as a tenant. Am I a single guy, right? Am I a millennial, okay? Um, do I live in a city where there is a lot of, uh, you know, couples with three kids on average, right, a household unit? So there we go. You got to find out that marketplace that you're investing, okay? The, are there a lot of people that own, that own in that in that market or, or the majority of people, do they rent? Well, that's a good indication, right? You want a market where there's a high demand for rentals, so where there's a lot of rent, you know, people that are renting, you know, tenants. So number one, find out if you're in a market, what's the closest market around me where the demand for rentals is high, okay? Ideally, more than 50%. Okay, if you're looking at a marketplace, you wanna find a marketplace that more than 50% of the household units, of the household units are rentals, which means there are non-owner occupants. Now, Christian, how, do I, how in the world can I find this information? Well, you have census data, okay? I'm gonna put on the links, okay? I'm gonna try to find a link and put it right down below in the comments once I finish this video. And that, you, you, once you click on that link, it's gonna take you to a website. You put your city and you're gonna find some information, okay? Or what you can do is you can go to the cities, the, you know, the biggest city around you, go to their city site, go to the website of the city and, and, and they usually have facts and data about the real estate, okay? So do that. That's how you find if the marketplace, but you wanna, oh, it has to be over 50% of the marketplace, of the household units are rentals, that's a good indication there's a demand, okay? So that's one way to find out. Um, another way you can do that, okay, let's go back to reverse engineering, right? I'm a tenant, okay? Okay, maybe you have uh, uh, two kids, right? So, so there we go. You wanna find out not only that more than 50% of the market is of rentals, right? They're, they're tenants, but what type of tenants are there? What's the average household composition? Or is the majority of people only a one person single guy? Is the majority of people of, of, of people, you know, of tenants, are they all have a, a couple and three kids? You wanna know this. Why? Because you wanna know the demand of the composition of the apartment. Okay? Because if you live in an area where there's only college students, they probably don't want a three bedroom or a four bedroom, right? They wanna have a nice one one studio apartment. That type of thing. So you wanna know the sub-market that you're investing in, okay? What's the average household? Um, what do they want? What do they want? What do they people want? Like here in Hagerstown, for instance, if you invest in the Hagerstown market, um, a two bedroom, one bathroom is that it's most, you know, it's mostly in demand, okay? You don't see a lot of three ones. I mean, you see have uh, duplexes, but you don't see in apartment buildings. It's, it's the average, if I have to average out, probably four or five out of 10, a little over that are two bedroom, one bathroom. Okay, so you wanna know that demand, okay? Going back, I'm a tenant, you know, do I have two kids? Do I have one kid? You know, what's the average, what, what do I want, okay? So the other tip that I can tell you, and I call it a ninja tip, right? Something you can do right now, get started. Um, you can go on Craigslist, on realtor.com, hapats.com, and different websites, reverse engineer, where are tenants looking for apartments? And what you have to do, and this is just for uh, an experiment, okay? Don't forget to delete this. This is just for testing purposes, okay? You can create a fake apartment really quick, okay? It doesn't hurt anybody. Just put it online, you know, if it's a two bedroom, one bathroom, blah, 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 blah. Just do it for a couple days, three, four, five days, and you're gonna see the flow of leads, of tenants that are coming into your, to that, to your ad, okay? So if you see that there is movement, right? If there's movement coming in, then that means there's a demand for those things. And when there's a demand for rentals, then there's, there's supply, you know what I mean? So that's very, very important. And one thing that I would suggest also is that to go on through these websites like Craigslist.com, Hotpads.com, and find comparables, okay? Find comparables, find the ones, like two bedroom, one bathroom. Why is this got one going for 650 while this one is going for 800? What is the difference, right? Is it location? Is it condition? Is it the uh, amenities, right? So you have to know these things, which brings me to another very good point. 
when you're looking at the location which we talked, it all depends on the demand for rent. When you're buying and holding properties, there needs to be a demand, okay? Um, the ideal marketplace is where over 50% of the household units are rentals. There's a demand there, greatly. How can you test that? Again, you know, you can go to Craigslist, put a, put a little ad, uh, and test the flow of leads, of tenants, because you gotta act as if you already have the apartment, right? You're testing the market before you have the apartment, because you wanna be successful, right? So that's what you have to do. The other thing you can do is reach out to an agent. Now, keep this in mind, I, I should disclose, I am a real estate agent, however, okay? However, I will tell you that nobody will care more about your success than yourself, okay? Nobody, nobody, everybody has an agenda, but yours, yours should be to be successful. So do your own due diligence, and when you talk to a real estate agent, please ask him, test him, Ask him questions about the marketplace that you already have an answer to, okay? So, so he will confirm certain things. You already know they're right, but you're confirming that, that you will find a great real estate agent by doing this. So that's the other thing. Reach out to a com competent real estate agent that understands the market, ideally own some rentals of their own in that marketplace because he, know, he, can on, he can not only guide you on how to buy the property, how to hold the property, how to sell the property, how to deal with tenants, the city regulations, lead regulations, tenant placement, and everything in and out of what property managing is. So make sure you do that, okay? Find a team, find your real estate agent, and he should guide you where the, where in the sub-markets, right? The sub-markets within a market where you can find these neighborhoods where are, there's a high demand of rentals and in the long term, they could provide a high net worth. So those are my little things. So you were talking about a little of the marketplace, okay? How to test the marketplace, how to, how to find out whether the market, whether there's a demand on the market. What's going on, Cheryl? Thanks for showing up. Um, what else am I missing? Okay, the other thing that you wanna do is the amenities, okay? So as a tenant, let's go, let's reverse engineer a little bit, okay? I'm a tenant, I'm a single guy, okay? I'm okay living in a one-one or a two-one, okay? And, and guess what? I wanna live near where I can work. You know, I don't wanna drive 30 minutes to go to work, right? So maybe there is a big job provider around the corner that maybe I might be interested in that, okay? Or maybe there is a, a mall, a big mall right around the corner. I'll be, I might be interested in that. Okay, maybe uh, that's that's where you are. Your due diligence comes in place. Your detective work comes in place. Your your real estate detective hat on, so you can start finding out what. And this is so key. A lot of people don't do that. Go to the marketplace and find out. You know what's your demographics? Okay, are they all? You know um, what's the average? Like I said, family composition. Okay, what's the average? You know what's the household yearly income? Just so you know, here in Hagerstown, it's thirty nine thousand. Okay, what is the average household income, the household the family composition? What is that demand on the marketplace? Do your due diligence because that way you, you are assuming things, but you're assuming with, uh, with data and facts around it, right? You're not just assuming based on, on, on things that come to your mind, but it's actual data. So make sure you do that. I'm gonna put a website here, you know, census.gov, I think it was one of them that, that can help you very greatly to do that. Um, find the amenities around. One thing, you have, you need to understand the marketplace. Find the, the biggest uh, job provider in your marketplace that you're, you're thinking to invest. Okay, that's, that's number one. Find out about the school system, right? Find out about the city regulation and expansion and things of that nature. But most importantly, if, you're, if I were to give you uh, three tips really quick and, and you know, to summarize how to buy right, it's know your market, okay? Know your market, test your market, and get a competent real estate agent, okay? And actually test your real estate agent because you wanna make sure you're working with somebody that understands the marketplace, um, especially as a beginner, okay? And this video is for specifically, the majority of people that are watching this are probably just getting started, maybe have a property or two, or maybe none, okay? This is, this is why I'm doing this video, is for you to kind of put you in the right direction to answer your questions and to help you build your empire. I want you to build your empire. Remember, remember, remember that you are getting old every day that's passing, every week, every month, you're getting old, okay? And when you get old, 65 years old, imagine being 65 or 75 years old, having bad ache, knee aches, headaches, Okay, and on top of that, you're gonna have financial aches. I mean, that's, that's absurd, right? Who wants that? Okay, so you have a choice right now. You have a choice right now to start learning 
how to invest in real estate so you can buy your first property, build your net worth, and over the period of 30, 40 years, you can amass a multi-million dollar empire, okay? And that is, it might seem far-fetched, but I'm telling you, start with one, and believe me, it's gonna be great once you're in your 60s or 70s. You're not only gonna be able to retire, okay, with a lot of money, you're gonna be able to help your kids, help yourself, I mean, come on, man. You got to make that decision today. If you don't have the money, you don't have the credit, who cares? But start learning. Start learning. There's no excuse, okay? There's no excuse. So this video is for you, the one that wants to build your real estate empire. This video is for you, the one to build a high net worth and create generational wealth. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first video. I'm going to do many, many, many more. And if you have any questions, any other type of uh, advice, uh, feedback, comments, whatever you have, Comment below, private message me. I want to help you build your empire. This message is not for everybody, but if you can learn one thing, and if I can motivate you to start doing one thing, which is buying your first rental, you made my freaking year, 10 years, my lifetime, because I love sharing what little I know, and I hope you guys do. I have a great evening. I really enjoy doing this video, so take care. See you until the next episode, okay? Take care.